Hi guys, I hope you're well. I just thought I'd do an intro before the intro to kind of show you guys what my skin looked like before. Um, a few people were asking me that in my last video, like evidence of my skin before. I couldn't find any images of my active acne and blemishes because I was really like really self-conscious and really kind of not very happy with the way I looked at that time. So I remember if I took any videos or pictures, I deleted them when I got my new phone. But I managed to find these on Snapchat and this was when my skin was getting better. I will show them after this voice clip, but just to let you know, that was when my skin was getting better. I followed this routine, um, maybe not the same exact products, but these products are better because I'm older and more experienced with skincare in terms of my skin. So these products would be better than the products I was using at the time. Um, but the products listed and um, the routine listed in terms of the step-by-step -step routine that I use now now has definitely helped over the past three months lighten my dark marks on my forehead on my chin that I shared and showed you in my last skincare video I will leave the link to that video below so you can see what I'm talking about and you can see the difference in my skin um, from this video to f from the last video to this video as well so yeah these are the pictures of my dark marks and irritated dry angry skin when it was getting better so yeah without further ado I will let you see this video and I hope it's very helpful. Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're well. I hope you're thriving this week. Um, this week's video is a little bit different. Um, it is a skincare video, as you guessed from the title. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my updated skincare routine. Um, my first skincare video did really well. And since then, people have been commenting if I've still been using the ordinary stuff because there's been a bit of speculation around that. And if I'm still using the um, CeraVe salicylic acid cleanser, etc., etc. So I thought I'd just do a updated skincare routine because quite a bit has changed. Um, skincare is one of those things that you can't always use the same products all the time because your skin kind of builds a tolerance and sometimes some products don't work anymore as your skin improves and your needs change. So I thought I'd just show you um, quickly what is in my regime now. So I'll talk you through my AM and PM routine um, quite quickly. Um, so essentially for my cleanser, I still double cleanse, so I would oil cleanse. So I use my Chem Beauty Soothing Cleansing Oil, which I've shown you in my previous video. I like this because it's light, it's soothing, um, it gets rid of makeup and all impurities. Um, I'd use it on a day where I'm not wearing makeup as well, just to get those oil pugs out of my face. Oil cleaning oil is really good because it breaks down the sebum and the oils trapped in your pores. So I do that and it conditions my skin as well. Um, I really like it because it has marigold and rose petals inside as well, which is super cute. And it's really good because it infuses the oil. So I take a pump of that, put it in my skin, rub in, and then to wash it off, to do the second stage of the double cleansing, um, I would use my La Roche-Posay Effaclair Gel Moussant Foaming Gel for sensitive skin. Now I don't use my CeraVe Salicylic Acid Cleanser as much anymore because I feel like it's done what I wanted it to do. My skin is quite nice. I think I'd use it like maybe once every two weeks in the evening if I wanted to, but generally I just go onto this. Um, I've chosen this, you can see I've used quite a bit. I've been using this for like four months now. Um, I've chosen this because it's basic, it's soothing, it's conditioning, it's hydrating, and it just does the job. It's simple and effective. I feel like with CeraVe, because it had salicylic acid in it, it was an active, so you can't really use that on your skin every single day. So this is just a basic, non-active containing um, face wash and it just makes your skin so bright and so smooth. So I'd go in with that next. After cleansing, um, while my face is still damp, I would tone. So I tone using my hydrating toner by Chem Beauty. This is amazing, it's always sold out on my website. Even the fact that I've got one is saying something special because usually I can't get my hands on one. So um, the hydrating toner, it hydrates, brightens and smooths. Has cucumber, aloe, blue zoo, hyaluronic acid, sweet orange, lavender, and sage. And this just makes you glow from within. Like when I say it conditions and softens your skin, I am not joking. Like it really does the job. You, you see a difference in your skin from like the second use. Like it really just softens and adds this really nice glow to your skin. Um, it comes in a flip top, and as of recently, it comes in a hydrating mist top as well. So if you find that you 
um, tone after putting on serums as well. You can just spray it on your face as opposed to using a cotton pad to wipe it off. I love this. I say to my friends, if I had to choose one product on a desert island to be stuck with and I could have used one skincare product, I'd choose this, no bias. It's very, very good and the reviews speak for themselves. So I use that. I would never change from this toner. Then I'd use like a hydrating mist just to dampen my face to prepare it for the other products that I'm going to use. So I'm still using the Vitamin E um, Superdrug Skincare Hydrating Mist. You can use rose water, aloe water, whatever your skin likes. Um, but yeah, I just use this because it's already mixed up and it's cheap and cheerful. And then I'd go in with aloe vera gel and my um, Cos RX Snail Moochin. So this is a new buy, I've been using it for like four months now. Um, I've had it for like since the beginning of the year, but the fact that it was snail just really put me off, like snail secretion. It just made me feel really sick, like, and I just didn't use it for a while, and I started using it, and I really like it. It's supposed to be better than hyaluronic acid. Snail secretion really helps um, make your skin very moist, very hydrated on a very cellular level. Um, it's said to be like the only thing that can work to that level, so that's why I just took the L and did it. And I don't regret it. Um, I, this is a Korean beauty brand and I really like it. Um, it's like £24 but you get a lot for your buck and um, you only need one pump and it really does the job. So that is that. And this is essentially just to hydrate further. Then I put aloe vera gel because it's very good at hydrating but I don't use this all the time. I say I use this at night time more than daytime but I would use it in the daytime in my AM skincare routine depending on how dry or how dull my skin looks if it does at all and then after that I would go in with my moisturizer and I've changed my moisturizer this is actually finished and I actually finished it today and I'm quite sad about it but I've ordered another this is the best gel lightweight moisturizer that I've used in a long time. My skin is super, super sensitive. Very allergenic, very irritable. It doesn't like anything with harsh chemicals. It doesn't like anything that's in too intense. Um, this is the Hydra Bio Bioderma Gel Cream. And it's a light moisturizing care for normal to combination sensitive skin. And my skin has just been so happy since I've used this. But like, you just have to use it. It comes in a pump like this. And then you just pump it. Um, this small thing is like £22, but I understand why. It is so, so good. Like, it's probably the best moisturiser I've used. Um, better than my CeraVe salicylic acid, just because it has no actives. And it's just so good and so refreshing on the skin. Um, I buy this, like, over and over again. And then next, for my AM routine, my last step would be sunscreen. And the two sunscreens I use are the La Roche-Posay, as I said in my last video and the Malibu face cream SPF 50. I don't think I got a chance to um, show this properly in my last video because I was rambling so much, but this is a high protection UVA, UVB sunscreen, photo stable, non whitening, which contains vitamin E and aloe vera. And this is the face cream version. There is a body cream version, but I find that to be so thick and not suitable for the skin. But this is so good and guys it's only like four pounds and it's so good it's so moisturizing i look so refreshed and so nice and dewy wearing this this is the same but it's not it doesn't make you look dewy it just makes you look a bit matte but it's still very good and then not white this is a bit pricier this is cheap cheap and cheerful Now, for my nighttime routine, I basically do everything apart from the snail mooching part and the aloe vera. And um, depending on what I'm trying to do, on a night that I'm trying to hydrate, I do a sheet mask after I um, cleanse my face. I put on a sheet mask, and this is my Collagen Impact Essential Mask. It is a Korean beauty brand, and it is a super intense um, cellulose mask sheet that's hyaluronic acid, collagen, and everything. And this makes my skin look so glowy and so tight and so plump. Like I use this for my brides um, for some of their weddings, depending on what their skin looks like. And it just takes your skin up a notch. Um, it comes in a pack of 12 for like 15 pounds, I believe. I usually get it from Amazon. It is so, so, so good. It's the only sheet mask I use. It is very intense. It, it does what it says and is suitable for um, sensitive skin as well. So if on the night that I'm trying to hydrate, I would use this. On a night that I'm trying to just mask, you already know it, I use my Chem Beauty Pink Clay Mask and I love this 
mask. It's so nice that you guys love it too. Um, a lot of people have bought it and have such lovely reviews. This mask is the truth. It softens, it clears spots. This is what I use to clear dark marks. Uh, all my dark marks started going once I used my sunscreen. I started using my sunscreen and started hydrating more. But definitely this pink clay mask reduced my blemishes. It lightened my dark marks. It conditioned the skin texture. My skin was more smooth, as you can see much more glowy. I found that skin looks really good when it can catch the light, when your light can bounce off of it and it doesn't just absorb the light. And I found my skin just looks so refreshed and so sexy and just so clear after using this pink clay mask. As I said, I wanted it to be a mask that was full of good things, but not just like clay. So we've got melon, we've got watermelon, we've got cranberry, there's allotonin, Alatoin, there's um, licorice root, there's Australian pink clay which is really good. There's just so much goodness inside and it really does show. I mask at least three times a week. Some people think that's a bit excessive, you can mask once a week, but it really does do the job. Um, on a night that I'm trying to exfoliate, nowadays I'd use like one of three exfoliants. This is the ordinary healing solution as I've spoken about before in my last video I'll leave the link to that video below just so that this video is not too long but this is like once a month and if it doesn't work for you stop using it I've seen a lot of speculation about the ordinary and their products burning people not everything's gonna work for everyone and you need to build a tolerance for your skin you can't just jump into something like this if you haven't used the acid before you wouldn't want to just start with this you have to do what's good for you so I use this once a month and even that if I remember but it's very good for what it says it does it's a micro peeling solution so you won't see um, results straight away it takes like a few days after using it where your skin would like exfoliate and dissolve all the dead skin on top so you have to use this sparingly using it every day will ruin your skin and ruin your skin's moisture barrier causing more damage in the first than you had in the first place but more recently I've been loving my Inky List Lactic Acid, very good for lightening dark marks, very good for fresh skin, really good for revealing fresh skin, fresh skin is healthy skin, even skin tone, this is amazing, it's better than the ordinary lactic acid, it just brought my skin coat up a notch and I use it on my chest as well, for when I get like dark marks sometimes, sometimes I get blemishes and they turn dark, this is lightening them very well, the formula is very good and it works straight away, you can see the difference. I love this. It's like six pounds, but so good. And I think the Inky List is like a sister brand to The Ordinary, but it just seems like a better quality. So that's that. Another thing that I've been using to exfoliate recently, something that I'm super in love with and I just can't stop raving about. I don't know what I love more between this, my skin, my skin clay mask, my toner, or this lactic acid. There's like, they're in a tight drawer. This is the CosRx Original Clear Pad, which has um, salicylic acid and um, alba bark water. This is basically a pack of pads, exfoliating pads. And I think there's 60 in here and it comes like this. And essentially you just use it to clean, to cleanse your face, um, to exfoliate your skin. And it's just so good. This is not an instant worker. I say I see the effects of this like maybe four days after I've used it, but honestly guys, it is so amazing i don't know where this has been i really like this brand now um it's a korean brand it says one step you could even use this just to exfoliate you don't always have to like use lactic acid and all these acids you can literally just use this alone and you would exfoliate correctly um it has willow bark water castor oil and orange peel oil salicylic acid and it's just so good like this is definitely a good way to ease yourself into your 70 pads you have to um, ease your skin into acid. You can use this. It says use once or twice a day. Another note, don't follow what these people say on their skincare stuff. They just want you to finish the product so you get more. Exfoliating once or twice a day is not the way to do it. Use this twice a week at most if you have to in the evening, not in the mornings. And you would see that your skin is going to be refreshed and renewed without any dark marks. You know, salicylic acid cleans on a cellular level, as I said. I removes blemishes, pustules, nodules, all that kind of stuff. Then to lighten dark marks, finally, Alpha Arbitin. This is amazing. It's just a serum. You put it on your dark marks and it lightens the skin. I've had to use it concentrated in the places where I get dark marks. As you can see, just because um, 
you don't want to put all over your face because it's going to lighten your face so you just want to put in areas that you, that need lighting in this works i'd say it takes a month to see results but it's very very good you, um, you apply a pea-sized amount to your face and neck so you'd apply this before your moisturizer after your toner so you know how in the last video we talked about putting on products layering them from thinnest consistency to thickest consistency so you put this on i put this on at night because i really wanted to do its thing um definitely 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 use this if you have dark marks it's very good or you can find stronger concentrations of this it doesn't have to be from the inky list but this one works for me um it's lined a lot of my dark marks on my jaw on my forehead etc etc then um sometimes to hydrate um, i use polyglutamic acid and yeah it's just it holds more water than hyaluronic acid this plus the snail mooching in the morning is amazing but again i just weigh up my options to see what my skin wants and then i go for that on a day that i need like super hydration like my skin looks dry and dull i'd use this so yeah i hope that was helpful um the reason i didn't demo anything is because i wanted the video to be short and i know i have a tendency to ramble and i just wanted you guys to see my updated skincare routine um these are things i've been loving i've been using these for four months now so i've tried and tested it i don't want to come on youtube and just tell you to use things i've been using for a week or two i don't think it's honest and i just it doesn't make any sense these are things that are staples in my routine i use them daily um daily if not weekly and they've helped me they've lined a lot of my dark marks they've even my skin tone refresh and healthy so i thought i'd just show you um feel free to buy any of it and know that not everything's going to work for you especially if i've recommended it even if a dermatologist recommended something to you it won't always work for you but you might as well try if you're really serious about getting really good skin this hair is from nadula hair nadula hair sent me this a 26 inch body wave wig and i've straightened it um it is a transparent lace um, and it's so good the hair quality is so so good the depth of the frontal is amazing and it is this depth all the way around which i really like which is six inches as you can see um hair from nadula hair um and the baby hairs and the install was by mb hair she really slayed and plucked this wig like i did it at first in my previous video but she came and revamped it and i did baby hairs and i'm not mad like this is so nice she's so talented so yeah check her out i'll leave her details in the description box um she's taking bookings right now as well but yeah i'm really loving them these lashes are chem beauty lashes stacked this is heartbreaker and self-paid stuck on top of each other um i just put them on when i don't have makeup to look like i have minks and that is that my tops from zara as well but yeah i hope you enjoyed that video i hope it was informative and i hope if you're looking for a new skincare product or a new routine this helps you to get towards that so you can get the skin that you want and the skin that you deserve so yeah i hope you enjoyed that video guys and i will see you in my next video take care bye